today marks the fifth anniversary of the death of Club Club's chairman, Clint Bishai. This morning, you and the squad, and along with the club, were, were part of a memorial service uh, to mark the anniversary. I know you spoke about his legacy ahead of the Sunderland game, but if you don't mind, I wanted to ask you about the service and actually um, how important you think it is to, for the club to continue marking the anniversary with you know, services like you've been part of this morning. Yeah, for sure has been an emotional morning, uh, but has been in the same time nice to remember all of them. And as I said uh, before Sunderland game, uh, the legacy, the legacy that they show, uh, and they continue uh, after the tragedy. It's uh, very important in something that in football is not easy to find it. And first of all, we have to be proud of that, and also we need to protect because it's something huge, something unbelievable. Um, on to tomorrow, uh, any fresh injury concerns in the squad? Uh, the only one is Wilf, that uh, uh, looks a bit more than uh, tidiness that we sought at the beginning. So probably he has to stay out uh, hopefully some days or at least weeks. So that could potentially be a, a more long-term problem? Yes, not, uh, not an important problem, just a muscle problem that uh, we know that uh, we thought that was uh, not uh, an important thing. It's not uh, a big thing, it's not important, but at least I think for some days, weeks, it's going to be out. Okay. Um, a couple of the other players, uh, Casey Matter, Tom Cannon, any closer to being part of the plans? They're going to be today for the first time with us. So it's early, but at least we can see them today with us for the first time. And I don't know if probably Casey can be involved for tomorrow game, but just to, to be with us, Tom needs something more. But uh, as I said, at least both of them with us and we are happy. Um, I wanted to ask you about a couple of the youngsters that have had long-term injuries, Will Alves, Sammy Brabrook. Are they, any, are they far off being uh, involved with you? No, I said uh, last time that uh, Will had some couple session with us. Some is not uh, ready yet, but uh, Will at least he had some session with us. Looks good, but uh, as you said, because it's a long-term injury, he needs be calm and work, and hopefully we can we can have him soon with us. Um, Uno Emery said this week that he feels like he can coach his players better by focusing on defeats and, and what went wrong as opposed to what goes right. Um, I'm wondering if, if you're similar and if that is the case, how do you continue to push your players to get more out of them when, of course, things are just going so right for you at the minute and you're just winning game after game? No, but for me it's quite uh, simple, quite easy. We, we continue to push because we didn't... Uh, yeah, we are winning game, but... Uh, Probably tomorrow we are going to lose and nothing changed. We need to continue our path, uh, the way we want to play, the way we want them to improve. Because as I said many times, the only, for me, eh, this is my personal opinion, the only way to improve a team is to improve players. If you improve the players, then because they are in the team, we can improve the team. So we need to be focused how we can improve them. And in the same time, uh, we are happy, as I said, but it's more for the fans. It's more for the players, but uh, we need to be focused because uh, we need to continue to improve because this is, uh, you cannot uh, drop a little bit, otherwise the opponent, they are there waiting for us. It, it feels like that attention, that hype almost around the team is, is increasing every single win. There was the comments from Tony Mowbray saying that he felt you were already promoted, that I know you commented on after the game on Tuesday, but I'm wondering if there are specific conversations you have with the players to make sure that they they don't believe that hard that they do you know keep their feet on the ground uh, special conversation I just try to be to be uh, straight clear honest with them that uh, in the same time is what I'm telling you every time we are doing something Incredible! They are doing something incredible. They are achieving this amount of uh, records that they are important. But at the end, uh, it's finished. No, we are still in October. We are in the right way, yes. But we are still in October. 
in the moment that uh, we achieve something important, this amount of records, they're going to be more important. So nothing and more than that. Okay. And the question about James Justin, you spoke really highly about him earlier in the season when actually he, he wasn't playing that much. Mm -hmm. And then he's, he's come in, been a regular part of the squad since Callum Doyle's injury. He got his first goal since a, a, a bad injury on Tuesday. How impressed have you been with how he's been able to come in and fill that role? And actually, how important is it that you have those players that can not be playing too regularly and just be ready to, to slot in like he has done? No, first of all, I would to say that JJ uh, uh, he got some minutes even before Callum was injured, because uh, uh, I think Southampton away, he played from the start, and Callum also. Uh, uh, after uh, with the Callum injury, he had more chances. But I said the other day, the first time I came to the training ground in uh, June, probably, everyone was in holiday, JJ was running around the pitch. And I said, who is this guy? And they said to me, it's Jim Justin. And in this moment, you can realize something very important that, uh, yes, you have to be a good player, but at the same time, you have to be professional and you have to be patient for your job. And if a guy is here during the holiday running around the pitch, it's because he has passion. And this is uh, the most important thing. And QPR tomorrow, what kind of a, a test are you expecting from them? Because Clearly, they're, they're not having the best of it at the moment, but what kind of a test do you expect? Yeah, but uh, it's a tricky game. Probably the perfect game for them. After five defeats in a row, Leicester is coming. It's the big game, guys. It's the big game for us. And it uh, will be a tough, tough one for sure. I spoke to somebody who, who knows QPR well, and he, he said something along those lines. He said QPR and Gareth Ainsworth are at their best when it feels like they've not got a chance when the world is against them. So how do you, as a coach with your players, combat that, make sure you're not the shock result of the weekend? No, just to feel like a QPR player in the moment. If you feel like a QPR player, five defeats in a row, and uh, how do you say, the, the first, the top team is coming to you, it's the, 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 best, the best game that you can have, because uh, with one win, you can delay the five defeat in a row. So it will be a tough game. We need to be 100% focused. For sure now, uh, as I already said many times, because we play every three days, uh, we also need to see uh, uh, how we are in terms of uh, tightness, because we are playing every three days. We play a very tough game two days ago, three days ago. So, yeah. And final one for me. You mentioned there about possible changes. You've got a couple of players. I think Harry Winks and Kieran Dewsbury are all both on four yellow cards. I know the focus will be on QPR tomorrow, but there are big games coming up against teams that are higher up in the table. Might the risk of suspension influence possible changes tomorrow? Uh, for sure, any decision we take, it's not for yellow card, because uh, QPR is three points and Leeds is three points. So any decision we take is not for yellow card. It's because probably we want to protect players that uh, they need rest. But uh, at the end, it's three points tomorrow, three points leads, nothing changed. Thank you, Enzo. Thank you. Thanks, Jack. Dan? Hi, Enzo. I remember coming to the pre-season friendly where you played Lerb and, and I, I just wonder if even you've been surprised by how well this season has started. Uh, for sure in terms of results, because I think uh, nobody expected the, the, the amount of results we had since we start. In terms of the way we play, uh, we work every day to play in that way. So we, for sure, we trust the player and we believe in ourselves that uh, uh, the direction was the, the right one. And but uh, where we are now, uh, hopefully, uh, in one month, two months, three months, we can be ahead of that of uh, the the moment that we are now. Because even if you analyze the last game against Sunderland. Uh, was a tough game, but we need to find different weapon to beat them, and we we found it. So probably uh, the more we play, the more games we play, uh, more solution we need to find. And this is the nice thing about uh, my job, our job, always to try to be dynamic and to see. Okay, now they come like this, we go like this. Now they, this is what the, what they like. And relentless winning. 
how much did you learn from Pep Guardiola about how to deal with that? Uh, no, I said already many times that uh, being there last year, uh, probably uh, you realize that uh, winning game is difficult. It's difficult. Even if from outside, everyone they can think that uh, because you are City or because now we are Leicester in Championship, the win are easy. But uh, it's not like that. It's not like that because uh, uh, football you can see day by day that uh, things happen, and it's not uh, it's not easy. When we beat Stoke at home, everyone was thinking uh, Stoke easy. Then Stoke beat Sunderland and beat Leeds. So it's easy or not easy? It's all about the players. The way they are behave, it's unbelievable. And that's why I said we don't we don't know how to drop because in the moment that we drop a little bit, they are going to wait to wait. They are going to wait for us and probably they beat us. But if we continue continue maintain the the standards that they have every day in training, we are going to win more than the lose game. And just finally Going back to the, the, the anniversary today, this job doesn't need any more um, sense of a responsibility, but does it make it in some ways extra special b because there is that memory there? Yeah, for sure, to be honest. When this morning we were there and at the ceremony, uh, people talking or watching some video, you realise uh, how important is the, this club and how important will be to to uh, to bring this club where they belong. At least that, then we can feel we can feel we can feel better.